Oh, fish, fish, fish. No way. No way. Oh, yeah, take it. Whoa! Best decision ever, <laughs> We have got a nice smallmouth bass on. This is what we've been after the entire time we've been up here. Dude, I've let bass and build down this weekend. My trolling motor died. My boat is a mess. Things aren't good. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are far from home. We are not in Southwest Michigan right now. We have made a four hour trek up north today, up into the Traverse City area. And if you guys look behind me right there, we are fishing with a very special guest today. AP Bassin and uh, actually too on the four-hour drive up here though I made a little pit stop to pick up AP Bassin a present by the way. I don't know if you uh, you didn't see this yet. Did you? <laughs> oh god <laughs> I got, I got buried. <laughs> a nice present on the way up just in case you get hungry in the boat and stuff I heard that you were homeless living out of your boat, you know for the past couple days things, so. things are homeless. I don't know if anybody really knows what I'm doing, but I've this is day five, I think. Of Obviously, I've stayed in a couple motels on the water, but I'm legit living out of my boat. Sleeping bags, cooler, just gong show. But Lake Michigan has been good to me. Are we going to try this today? Maybe. Okay, we really get out of yeah, man. <laughs> we should, we should, We should use this to begin with because we have never fished this lake. But uh, yeah, we're 34 foot of water. Smally time. Smally time. Like Perk just said there, what we are out here doing is trying to target some big smallmouth bass. It is summertime here in northern Michigan, so a lot of these smallmouth are going to be out off that deeper break. So we're starting anywhere between 20 and 40 foot of water, trying to see some stuff on the graph, dropping drop shots down on them, stuff like that. But just pulled up on the first spot, going to be trying to find some big old bronze ones today. So stick around, stay tuned. Fishing with the man, AP Bass, and haven't seen him in a few years, so hopefully we get on him, guys. Let's go get him. Like, what is that? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'm dropping on that one. I, that, that, yeah, that, that, that actually I think is a smallie. Check that. That's a nice mark, actually. I mean, that thing's huge. Whatever that is. My God, whatever it is. What? <laughs> What just happened, dude? Okay, boys and girls. Well, we just had the first fish of the day that we caught. It's about a smallmouth the size of my freaking fingernail. And it had a giant old mark on there. We just dropped down on it, expecting it to be like a three or four pounder at least, and uh, not so much. But first one in the boat, trying to find some bigger ones right here. There's another mark right there. Drop back down. Catch him. Dude, Get yeah, him. see if there's some bigger ones down here. But so far, had a couple small bites and then just caught that freaking minuscule size smallmouth. Decent one? Not. Small? <laughs> Do you need the net, buddy? That's no, what I'm asking. No, I don't think we need don't but think you need that. <laughs> oh, look at that big oh. mamma jamma. Is that first cast of the dragon drop first you just cast. rigged up? There you go. Look all right, all right. Yeah, the one pair just caught was about three or four times the size of the one that I caught, so we got some work to do, boys. So the first few spots that Parrick and I rolled up on did not go so well. We caught a few very tiny fish in like 30 feet of water. The rig of choice was a drop shot with that little size one zone lock finesse hook, and I had a half ounce weight on there too, because as you guys saw, we were looking for fish on the graph, and if we saw some big ones, we wanted to be able to drop down on them really, really quick in case there's like a three to five pounder beneath the boat, but did not work out very good for us, and Parrick got this brilliant idea now we're gonna go out onto Lake Michigan, like a 40 mile send straight out to the middle of the lake. And it was windy out the day that we were fishing, so I'm telling him I do not think this is the move, but he's convinced me it's gonna be fine, let's go out there, and uh, it does not go so well, but this is what happens. Oh yeah, that was a freaking ripper. Boys and girls, we are currently in the center of Lake Michigan because Perrick decided we're gonna go for the full send. He wanted me to fish for those fish that he was catching yesterday. If you guys watch his videos, he caught some absolutely giant smallmouth out in the middle of Lake Michigan, but as you guys can see, we're not getting there today. There's like solid like four or five footers. There was literally some like rogue seven foot waves that we just hit. We ran like 10 miles out into the middle of Lake Michigan. Terrible idea. We're gonna go into one of the bays over here. Hopefully it's a little bit calmer than this. You guys are gonna get the full extent of this when we start running right here. It looks nice and placid. Like, I mean, you can see us bobbing up and down. Doesn't look too crazy, but wait till we start running right here. It is not very good for it is not nice out here for bass boats i'll tell you what we got like uh, eight, eight miles, miles until, yeah. it gets, until it gets like home Dude. Whoa! Best decision ever! <laughs> <laughs> 
probably still not ideal. We're still on Lake Michigan right here and uh, Perrick did not kill us. We have made our way to a slightly calmer section of the lake as you guys can see. Only like maybe one footers here, nothing too bad, but we're fishing a lot of shallow rock right here. Perrick's gonna be throwing a swim bait. I have a little three inch cracking craw on a wobble head and we're gonna be trying to catch some big old smallmouth. So far, today has been a major, major, major bust. Perrick caught one like 12 inch smallmouth and I caught one smallmouth that was like that big, so. Hopefully, out here, we get onto some of those big Great Lakes smallmouth that we've been after, but stick around, stay tuned, we'll see what happens out here. I'm gonna make this really quick so we can jump back into the fishing, but I just had to clear this up for you guys. The footage that you guys just saw of us running across Lake Michigan, it might not have looked that bad. Like, the waves are obviously pretty big in that video and everything, but I just wanna drive home the fact that when we hit those six and seven footers, we were five to 10 miles further out onto Lake Michigan. Neither of us had cameras out whatsoever, so we got back into a safer area, and that's when I pulled the camera out and started filming, so the waves were a lot worse. Like, literally, Perrick and I were cruising along, going like five, 10 miles per hour, because the waves were so big, and literally one was towering over the side of us, and that's when we decided we could not make it out to Beaver Island. We had to flip back around. We decided to go fish one of the smaller bays in a little bit more secluded area. Uh, that was gonna be a little bit safer, because it was very, very scary out there, guys. You do not wanna mess around on the Great Lakes, let me tell you, but that little shallow pattern that I was talking about never panned out for us, but we pulled up on this break wall, Pulled the drop shot back out with that little size one zone lock finesse hook, put a little drop shot bait on, and went to work on some of these Lake Michigan smallmouth. Got one. Got one. Got one. It's very small. Very small. Very small. It's a smallmouth though. It is a smallmouth though. <laughs> We're on them now, boys! <laughs> on Lake Michigan, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Thing needs to get about five pounds larger. Oh. Come on, baby, be big. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, dude. Still a smallie. Still a smallie. That is my biggest one yet, dude. I've got progressively larger at each and every smallmouth. Lake Michigan, that's what I'm talking about, though. Nice, solid 10 inch bass right there. Grew about two inches every single fish that I've caught. Went from like a six incher to an eight incher to like a 10 incher. We are growing, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go, dude. That's better. No. <laughs> that is the best one yet, though. I told you, we're going to get bigger every single time. Boys and girls, I think this might be our 12-incher right here. We are busting them out here on Lake Michigan. Look at that little chubber. Nice, solid, one-pound bass, probably. I think we finally stuck our 12-incher. We literally have gained about two inches every single bass that we've caught. Not a giant. The smallmouth fishing has not been going our way all day long. We've caught a few tiny fish, but nothing to write home about. But as we are leaving one of the smallmouth spots, we see all sorts of stuff on the graph. And Perrick says, it's gotta be salmon, it has to be lake trout, something like that. So we set the trolling rods up and we start trying to target a different species out on Lake Michigan. No way. No way. Shut up, dude. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to kill you got, you got this, you got this. You want me to take this? Yeah. What do I do? Just keep pressure on it? Yeah. You on it? Uh, oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, dude, yes. I feel him, I feel him. He's on there. He's on there. He's on there. Dude, what? What is going on, dude? I don't think I've ever caught like a lake trout or anything. I hope it's something like that. Dude, oh baby, you feel those head shakes. Oh my gosh, dude. We have had a very rough day of smallmouth fishing. This has to be something freaking neat. Come on now. Dude, she's coming up, Eric. Get it. She's coming up, she's coming up. <laughs> Wanna bring her over this way? Dude, okay? what? <laughs> it doesn't feel that big. Oh yeah, what is, is it? it? <laughs> what we got? Dude, what is it? <laughs> It's something decent. Dude, what is it? Oh, what is it, dude? Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Did you get him? Dude, no freaking oh way! God. We can probably check those. That's insane! It lake trout? Out. A freaking lake trout, dude? I've never caught one of those. That is a new species. All right, guys, well, Billy's got one. 
So I may have misspoke for a second. I have caught one other lake trout, but that is by far the biggest lake trout I've ever caught. What do you think that is? It's gotta be about 10 pounds, yeah, right? 10 pounder. Good, good 10 pound lake trout right there. Peric, let me take it because I have not done a lot of trolling in my life. He's done a little bit more than me. So freaking awesome experience after a very rough day of smallmouth fishing. Awesome, awesome fish on what we were just trolling a spoon or something. No idea what's going on right now, but we will take it right there. Freaking sweet, dude. Gonna get that fish back in the water real quick right there. She came out of some very deep water. Oh, that's a freaking brood, dude. Like, let her go. Oh, there, there she goes. There she goes. She'll go down. Here. There she goes, baby. Mm. Good job, Peter. Let's go. Let's go, dude. You it's been it. so you bad out it. here. Pair caught one more, like, two pound lake trout, but like I said, we were running out of daylight and we had like a 20 mile boat ride back to the boat. So we had to call it a day. Peter caught one more, but like I said, we were running out of daylight and we had like a 20 mile boat ride back. So we had to call it a day, drove our boat back across Lake Michigan, got to the dock that we were staying at for the night, and we started to get ready for day number two on the water. Oh, there we go. There we go, Peric. There we go. There we go. That's a nice size fish right there. We got a big small on. Where's the camera? I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. It's on the seat or something. I don't know. Behind the thing? Oh, that's a big smallie. That's a big smallie. It is a nice size smallie. It's not that big of a smallie. <laughs> it's a good one though. Finally got a halfway decent fish to eat the net rig out here. It's really, I'm really sad because it actually looks pretty small. It's fighting like crazy though, dude. She's going nuts. It's like a two pounder, maybe. Oh my goodness, why did that fight like a five pounder? What the heck was that all about? Come here, baby. Come here, we're gonna land this thing KVD style. It's not even a two pounder, that is just sad. We have got ourselves about a one pound smallmouth bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rough out here. We don't have a trolling motor at all. Doesn't move us even a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're just kind of drifting around. Peric's trying to find a hotel for himself tonight. I'm driving back down <laughs> south, but it, that one was fun to reel in. It literally did fight like a three plus pound smallmouth. That thing was going nuts, but yeah. Okay, well, there it is. There it is, boys and girls. Guys, I'm disappointed. I've let Bass and Bill down this weekend. My trolling motor died. My boat is a mess. Things aren't good. <laughs> but he caught one. But I got one. There it is. Got one. It's a good one. Good one, dude. Please be a big. Oh, yeah, it's a better fish. It's actually a decent fish this time. It's not a one pounder. I'm not going to call it a giant. I'm not going to go too crazy, boys. But we just got a nice one on the Ned Rig. Out here drifting. Zero trolling motor battery, like at all. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, dude. It's a freaking nice one right here, boys. We have got a nice smallmouth bass on. This is what we've been after the entire time we've been up here. Come on. Oh, look at those head shakes. She crushed the Ned. That's at least a three pounder. Come on now. Beautiful fish. About a three pounder. Come on, right in the net. Oh, AP bassing on that nut job. He's slacking. He's got that camera in hand. Here we go. <laughs> get her, AP! Get her, AP! Oh, get her, AP! Get her, AP! There she is! Let's go, baby! <laughs> we have been after this fish for two days straight. Peric's taking me on a freaking wild goose chase, and we finally just stuck us about a three pound smallmouth bass. Not an absolute monster. But guys, the Great Lakes, they are beating us up. peric has been out here living on the water like a freaking homeless person. And uh, I think he's just been beaten to a freaking pulp at this point, but little net rig right there. Solid like three pound bass. Gonna get a few pictures of this fish then get her back in the water for you. There she goes. Had to get her bearings for a second. She came out of a probably like 25 foot of water. We have no front graph on. Like I said, the trolling motor is completely dead. So honestly, we're just kind of aimlessly drifting around out here, throwing net rigs and that fish somehow, some somewhere was down there. Just saw the net rig go past her face and decided she wanted to make my day. So gonna try to catch a few more here. Only have probably like maybe an hour left to fish or something like that. I have to head back down to Southern Michigan, but gonna try to get a few more for you guys. That is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a blast getting up there, trying to chase down those Great Lakes smallmouth. It didn't really work out for us in the end, but we did get one solid one, so I cannot complain too much. And also, I've not seen Peric in like two or three years, so it was good to be able to get out there, fish with an old friend, and put some fish in the boat. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna check out any of the gear in the video, like the Zone Lock hooks or the Lose Reels, it's all gonna be linked down below. If you guys support those companies, those are the companies that support me, so it means a lot to me as well. But thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.